Okay, welcome back. In this video we're going to cover the creation of a dedicated directory for our ARMA3 server installation, as well as installing the ARMA3 server files through the Steam CMD tool. Uh, often it is desirable to uh, have your server installation somewhere other than your home directory. And uh, as an example, if we look at my machine here, you can see that in my root volume I have 54 gig available which is where the home directories reside, uh, but I have 1.7t available in this data volume. So we're going to create a custom directory for our ARMA3 server install, and during the Steam CMD installation process, we will point the ARMA3 server files at that directory. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, switch over to this data volume, which we see we are there now. And if I look in there, I have a servers directory that I've created for various server installations, and I think I want to put Steam and ARMA3 under that. So I'm going to switch into there, and at this point we'll go ahead and create a Steam directory. And because we did that via sudo, that directory is currently owned by root, we want it to be owned by Steam. So we're going to change ownership on that directory. And we're going to move into it. And then we're going to create an ARMA3 directory. we look at the end result we have an ARMA3 directory in our data array and it is owned by Steam. So with that work done we're going to switch back and launch the Steam CMD tool now at this point you need to log in and we should have created at this point a dedicated Steam account, which is I'm not going to cover in this video, but uh, the notes for how to do so are included in the instruction document in the links below. Okay, now once we're logged in, we want to change the installation directory to that custom directory that we just created. It's going to look like this. Force install directory. And you'll see that in the instructions over here on the left side. To the path that we just created. Now with that done, we are nearly ready to run our app installer for the ARMA3 server. What we need is the app ID. And if we scroll down to the bottom of the page here, under supported servers, we see dedicated servers list. We can go to this page do a quick search for ARMA3 and we find an app ID of 233780. So we run app update the application ID with validate and at this point the system is downloading and installing the ARMA3 server so I'm going to cut away now, and I'll come back when this process is complete. 